Why is this part of Russia so good at fighting? With Islam Makachev defending his lightweight belt again against Volkanovski this past weekend, it got me asking a question that a lot of fight fans I think want the answer to, and it's why this part of Russia, specifically Chechnya and Dagestan, is so good at fighting. This tiny part of the globe has produced fighters such as Islam Makachev, like I mentioned previously, but obviously you have the legend in Habib Nurmagomedov and one of the best contenders at welterweight in Hamza Chemaev. Obviously you have all of these elite wrestlers, but additionally you also have Artur Beterbiev, who is a great knockout artist in the light heavyweight division in boxing. And speaking of knockouts, a word from today's video sponsor. Oh, hey guys, I didn't see you there. I was just sleeping on my Bear Mattress. What's Bear Mattress, you ask? Well, Bear Mattress is a premium mattress designed to upgrade your sleep, improve your lifestyle and overall quality of life, and is conveniently shipped to your door for free. The really cool part is that the mattress comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up yourself. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried before, Bear has a 120 night sleep trial, so you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. And if you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. So I've had a bare mattress for about a month now. And unlike my old mattress, this mattress leaves me feeling very rejuvenated in the morning. And as somebody who trains in fighting all the time, feeling recovered and rejuvenated is something that's very important for me and should be very important for you too. Bear also matches you with the perfect mattress based on your body type and sleep preferences. See, everybody has different preferences and sleep positions, so to find the best mattress suitable for you, Bear has made a sleep quiz that will remove all of the guesswork. Personally, I am a side sleeper who loves a soft mattress and I sleep alone. So based on these results, Bear has matched me with their Elite Hybrid mattress, which again has been perfect for me. Another thing I love about Bear mattress is that their sleep recovery technology uses cellulite powered fabric to basically keep you cool throughout the night. In addition, Bear mattresses also use three premium foams to push away all unwanted body heat. So this clean and cool sleep allows you to sleep and wake up better. Plus, Bear mattresses also have a lifetime warranty and they even offer financing options with really flexible payment plans so a good night's sleep is never far away. What are you waiting for? Use this link to get 25% off your first mattress. Thanks, Bear Mattress, for sponsoring this video. And there's a ton more great combat sport athletes that stem from this region. But the natural question is, why does this small part of the globe produce some of the most elite fighters in all of combat sports? So before I get into answering this question, I wanted to define this region that we'll be focusing on, and that is the Caucasus Mountains, which is a mountain range that naturally separates Eastern Europe and Western Asia. This cold and high elevation region is home to two now world famous Russian republics, Dagestan and Chechnya. I also wanted to mention that neighboring this region is also the country of Georgia, which also includes a great array of UFC fighters such as Marab Davalishvili, Giga Chikaze, and Ilya Toporia, just to name a few. But in this video, we're going to be focusing on the aforementioned republics of Dagestan and Chechnya. So the reason why these two countries are usually paired with each other is because they have a very similar history. The Chechens of Chechnya and the Avars of Dagestan are both warrior people of this mountain range that are primarily Muslim. Both Dagestan and Chechnya are both republics of Russia today, but they were taken by force by the Russian Tsar Nicholas I in the mid-1850s. Both regions have also have had histories trying to revolt against the Russian rule. Most of these revolutions came from the Chechens and included two Chechen wars that spanned from the late 90s all the way to 2009. And though these wars usually pitted Chechnya versus Russia, there was also a war of Dagestan in the middle of these two Chechen wars in which the Chechens tried to take over Dagestan from Russia but ultimately failed. Though these wars ended in 2009, until today, these regions are still breeding grounds for violence between the Chechens and the Russians. Because of this war and violence, many fathers during this time would put their children in wrestling programs. And the programs in countries that were formerly under Soviet rule are extremely elite because of the USSR's heavy focus on wrestling, especially during the 70s and 80s, where they were just winning so many Olympic wrestling events. 
And during this time, the Soviets would create a very effective style of wrestling called Sambo, which has been practiced by legends such as Fedor Emelianenko, Habib Nurmagomedov. And when we're talking about today's fighters, we also have Islam Makachev, who was the 2016 World Sambo Champion. So as you can imagine, the wrestling culture in Dagestan is so strong because these fathers are putting their kids at a very young age into probably some of the best wrestling programs in the world. Both Habib and Islam have described their fathers training them in wrestling when they were very, very young, and it seems like the culture for many Dagestani kids today. Habib has described if he went to a family friend's house and his father saw another kid there that was the same age and weight as Khabib, he would make them wrestle, and this apparently happened all over the streets of Dagestan, and also, who can forget the video of Habib's father making him wrestle a bear when he was like five years old. So as you can see, this strong and elite wrestling culture has practically been embedded into the Dagestan and even Chechen culture in general. But I think this culture of wrestling within these areas took a real turning point when one of them would eventually break through and make it on the global stage. And of course, that one person I'm talking about is the legend Habib Nurmagomedov. In general, I think all it takes is one guy from a poverty-stricken, violence-ridden area to impact the path of many. See, when it's tough to make it out of a certain area and one of you gets out and finds success, that inspires everybody to follow in your path. Think Manny Pacquiao from the Philippines. For a lot of Filipinos, he is the reason why we took up boxing. Another good example is Brazil. For them, that's definitely Hoist Gracie and the Gracie family in general. This is why we see a lot of elite Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners and also mixed martial artists coming out of Brazil. And there's probably a whole slew of different other examples, but I think in general, when you come from a country that is very poverty stricken and also there is very little opportunities to make it out and you see somebody that looks like you that grew up in the same area as you finally make it and succeed tremendously the culture kind of shifts to whatever they did so like i mentioned previously this area already had a strong wrestling culture but to see somebody a superstar and habib succeed with that style of wrestling it propelled the culture of wrestling within these areas even further. And finally, the last reason, but also a huge reason as to why they're so good at combat sports is because of their iron discipline that I do think stems from the religion of Islam. Like mentioned before, the people of Chechnya and Dagestan are primarily devout Muslims, and with this religion comes restrictions on what they can do. Devout Muslims cannot do things that are considered haram, and this includes drinking and doing drugs. So because of this, they remain extremely disciplined. I probably don't have to give you too many examples, but we've seen UFC fighters, boxers, and combat sports athletes not reach their full potential or go off track of where they were supposed to go because they partied a little too hard. Though with the Dagestanis and Chechnyans who are very devout Muslims, you probably don't have to worry about those problems happening with them because of, again, their strict adherence to their beliefs. So it's pretty hard not to imagine these guys being some of the most elite fighters in the world as their life essentially revolves around training and fighting, staying away from drugs and drinking, and also praising Allah. So in conclusion, the area of Dagestan and Chechnya and also the surrounding region is a weird but perfect mix of everything that would make a great fighter. Because of their historically tough circumstances, this has made very tough people, which makes them perfect for a tough sport like wrestling or fighting in general, something that already happened to be embedded in the culture of the Soviet rule. And eventually one of them would make it out and grow the sport slash culture even more, inspiring more youth to follow in this path. If you also mix this in with a religion that prevents them from doing things that could potentially sidetrack them, you have the perfect combination for the ultimate fighter. But what do you guys think? Is the Dagestani and Chechnya region going to continue to dominate combat sports? Is there another area that's also creating great fighters? I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this. And like always, thank you for all of the support on my videos and I'll continue to make more. Peace.